so for question 40, the diagram below shows the life cycle of an 80s mosquito, name the missing stages of the life cycle in the boxes provided. This shouldn't be much of an issue, this was taught in P4. So eggs, larva, pupa, adult. Okay, if you recall, recall the other one, the three stage life cycle, the first one will be egg, in the middle we either call it the young or the nymph, and the last one is the adult. So in this case, part two is larva, part one is pupa. So this is our answer. Now let's look at the second part of the question. Based on the information given, state the relationship between the temperature and the average length of the life cycle of an 80s mosquito. So whenever we answer a relationship question, we must put a box around the keywords between and the keyword and. Okay, so we'll underline, underline. So this gives us our two variables. The first one is temperature. The second one is the average length of the life cycle of an 80s mosquito. So what do we see here? As the temperature increases, the average length of the life cycle of an 80s mosquito, does it go up or go down? It goes down. So we say it decreases. Okay, so this is what we say. As the temperature increases, the average length of the life cycle of an 80s mosquito decreases. Okay, let's move on to the last part, part C. The Aedes mosquito spreads diseases like dengue fever. So Chubing saw the following cautionary message from NEA website. While current number of dengue cases are relatively low, warmer months from June to October could lead to higher transmission of dengue in Singapore. So based on the information that was given, explain why dengue fever is expected to spread more widely during the warmer months. So let's look at the warmer months. What happens? When the temperature is higher, the average life cycle of the Aedes mosquito is shorter. So what does that mean? That means the eggs when it hatches to become larva, pupa and adult, because the life cycle is shorter, it becomes an adult at a faster rate. Which also means that since the life cycle is faster, the rate of reproduction is also faster, there would be likely to have more mosquitoes in the environment. Okay, so how should we answer? We say during the warmer months, the life cycle of the mosquito will be shorter, so they will reproduce faster and thus there will be a larger number of adult mosquitoes which would spread the dengue virus or the dengue fever virus at a faster rate. Is that clear? Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my discussions, please hit on the subscribe button below. If you'd like to find out more about my analysis of other questions in this paper, please click on the videos on the right. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.